this Sunday in the UK, the UK government is testing out the emergency alert system, which will send an alert to all mobile phones that are compatible with the system. This guide shows you how to turn them off. If you're watching this as a short, tap the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video now. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So, as I say, this Sunday, the 23rd of April, 2023, at 3 p.m., the government will be sending emergency alerts to all compatible 4G and 5G UK mobile phones. And what you'll see is you'll see a message come up on the screen and you'll hear an alert like this. Now, you will need to confirm that you've seen the message by tapping OK or clearing it off of your screen. And please be assured, Sunday the 23rd of April 2023 at 3 p.m., this is just a test, just to make sure that the service is working. The emergency alerts will be sent directly from the phone masts in the surrounding area. They will not come from your network provider. So obviously, if you can't get a good signal or can't get a signal from your network provider, as long as your phone can pick up a signal from any of the network providers in the UK, then you will still receive the emergency alert. So don't be surprised if you haven't got a signal on your mobile phone and you still will get these alerts. Now, now these alerts are being sent out only on the 4G and 5G networks. If you've got a smartphone that's older and can only connect to the 3G network, then you will not get these alerts and certainly non-smartphones connected to the 2G, 3G, 4G or 5G networks will not get these alerts either. They've got to be a smartphone. So other reasons that you might not get the alerts is if your phone is turned off or it's in aeroplane mode, if it's connected to Wi-Fi only, or if the phone is just simply not compatible. And this, the compatibility of this system is iPhones running iOS 14.5 or later, and Android phones and tablets running Android 11 and later. If you've got an earlier version of Android, you may still be able to receive alerts. If you want to know what version of iOS you're running, then all you've got to do is tap on the grey settings cog, then scroll down to general, tap general, and then tap about. And there we go. It will tell you beside software version, the version of iOS you're running. In my case, it's 15.7.2. If you want to find out what version of Android you're running, then tap on the settings cog and then where it's got searching settings, tap in there and just type version, V-E-R-S-I-O-N. And then you should see there Android version about phone. Tap on that and there we go. Under Android version, it will show your version of Android. And I'm going to show you in a moment how you can check to see whether your Android and iPhones have got the settings on them to receive these alerts. So on the Sunday, the 23rd of April, 2023 at 3 p.m., this is what you're going to see. An emergency alert will come up on your phone and you'll see this is a test of emergency alerts, a new UK government service that will warn you if there's life threatening emergency nearby. In an actual emergency, follow the instructions in the alert to keep yourself and others safe visit gov.uk forward slash alerts for more information. This is a test. You do not need to take any action. So all you do is you just tap on the OK button. Now, if you don't want to get these alerts, so to turn off these alerts on an iPhone, all you need to do is go into settings. That's the grey settings cog on your phone and then scroll downwards until you see notifications. That's a red icon just to the left of notifications with a bell and a dot in it. So tap notifications 
And then what you want to do is you want to scroll right the way down to the bottom of the page. Keep going until you go right to the bottom. And there you go. There's a section there called emergency alerts. And if you don't want these alerts, what you need to do is you need to turn off both extreme alerts and severe alerts. And there you go. That means you won't receive those alerts with those turned off. If you want to turn off the emergency alerts on a Android phone, then just go into settings and then where it's got searching settings there, tap in there and just type emergency alerts. That's emergency alerts. And then hopefully if your device is compatible with emergency alerts. As I said earlier, Android, they say Android version 11 or later, but I've got devices that are earlier than Android 11. I've got a device with Android version 9 on it and it still has emergency alerts on there. So it's worth having a check regardless. Once you've typed emergency alerts, if your device is compatible, then it will say emergency alerts, warn about life threatening events. Tap that and then make sure if you don't want to receive those messages, then make sure that you turn off both severe threats and extreme threats. So there we are. That runs through the emergency alert system, which is going to be tested on Sunday, the 23rd of April, 2023 at 3 p.m. I hope you found this video informative. And if you did, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.